What's up everybody, NFX here with another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about melodies. But before I get started I want to just have a quick disclaimer saying that I don't think I'm the best melody writer in the world, uh, obviously. But uh, And I actually am finding it very difficult to explain this. So um, I don't know if this tutorial is going to be complete enough for some people. If it isn't, you know, I apologize, but uh, this is one aspect that while I'm comfortable with doing it myself, uh, I'm not comfortable trying to explain it because it's kind of a mystery to me. A lot of the melodies that, that I've actually come up with, uh, I couldn't say that, uh, you know, that I wrote them. I could say that they kind of, they've just kind of come to me or, you know, I've been lucky with them. Uh, but I have learned that when I'm playing the keyboards that there are certain things that I do um, when developing a melody. So I'm going to try to explain what those things are. Uh, the first thing I want to do is explain what a melody is. A melody is basically a series of notes played together that when heard have a starting point, a middle point, and an ending point. And uh, the way it's often described is um, like a journey, if you will. Uh, like you're at home, you walk out of the house, you go to the liquor store, uh, then you stop by, you know, uh, a burger joint, and then you come home, okay? It's kind of like that, only musically speaking, uh, you know, our home is our root note. And our middle is some other note in, in the melody. And then our end is our root note again. So we're starting at our home or root note. We're traveling out. We're stopping somewhere. And then we're coming back home to our root note. And a perfect example for that, and it's going to be a little bit cheesy to some people, but it's a good example, is the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Because that follows that exact pattern. The, what you're going to notice is I'm going to start on my root note, which is in this case is going to be a C. I'm going to go somewhere and then kind of stop and then I'm going to come back home to the C. So the melody has two parts. It's got the first half and the second half. So the first half of the melody goes like this. And there's where it stops on that G. Now, at this point, the melody has not gone home yet. It hasn't resolved. We're in the middle point of the melody. Um, but as we continue, now it's resolved. Now the melody feels complete. If I would have just stopped my melody, if, that, if the first part of this uh, particular melody was all there was to it, in other words, it was just this, that's it, it wouldn't sound complete. It doesn't sound complete. It, it, it sounds like it's missing something. Can you imagine that repeated over and over? It just doesn't do anything for you. But when you add that second half, it feels completed. It feels like you could repeat that phrase, that whole phrase again, and actually it does in the song. The song does repeat, um, but you could repeat it, and you know it sounds like you've got a, a nice motion going. You know, so it's very important to resolve your melodies, or you know, or end back at home. And the basic rule is you. You find your scale that you want. The scale is going to give the emotion of the song that you're going for, uh, as we discussed in the scale tutorial. And so if you haven't seen it, watch it and, and learn what that's about. 
But uh, so you pick a scale. Uh, you're going to know your root note for that scale. You hit that note first. You don't have to hit it more than once necessarily, but start on that note. Then journey out from that note. Stop somewhere and come back. Um, and, I mean, that's basically it. Uh, if we took like, uh, I'm going to just try to make up a melody here, and I'm going to use an A minor scale. Um, I'm just going to try to make one up off the dome right now. So um, let's see how that works. I'm just going to use the rules uh, that I've laid out. Okay, so that sounded complete. Didn't sound too bad to me. Uh, when I played that, and I don't know if I could play it again because I don't even remember what notes I hit, uh, but uh, one of the things you'll notice that I did there is I didn't really move too far away when I hit the next note. In other words, I didn't just go like... You know, I mean... I didn't just jump around. I was usually pretty close to the last note I played. And that's another thing that, that I'll do is, uh, you know, if I'm going, uh, playing a melody or developing a melody, when I look for my next note, I look pretty close to where I'm already at, you know. So in this case, I think it was something like... And, and those are pretty close. Um, so when you're developing the melody and you're in that traveling part of, of the melody, don't jump around too much. There are a couple of uh, notes that you can jump to, like the fifth and the octave of, of, the, uh, of the melody. And let me explain what that is. The fifth is basically the fifth uh, note in the scale which if we're talking about uh, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star again, would be the G, would be that note. So we can go. And you can see we jump to that G right after the C. Jump right there. But then, you know, we stay close to our previous note again. And then leading back to the second half, we're still close to our previous notes. Okay, so, um, you know, don't jump around too much. I mean, you could jump around to kind of set something up, uh, but try to keep it close as you're, as you're traveling up and or down the, uh, the scale. Now, a melody should be kept kind of simple. Uh, because that will allow you to write a counter melody um, or harmony with it, and it won't sound, you know, that busy and that uh, complicated to uh, to listen to. Make sure that uh, you also try to make your melodies have some kind of uh, repetition as far as uh, timing goes, and sometimes even as far as as notes go. Um, because the human ear and brain connection likes to hear repetition. So there you have it. That's, that's my Melody in a Nutshell tutorial. Um, hopefully you'll take something uh, from it. And if, uh, if it's all just too simple for you, uh, that's good. Because it means that you, know, you already know how to do that. And uh, maybe you can participate in the message board and help somebody out who... Uh, who might need some advice. But until the next tutorial, uh, I hope you guys uh, keep on making that music, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.